Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Molly. I'm going to start out with a song for you guys from my EP. Um, I wrote all five songs on there, and I'm really proud of it. It's my first recording project of my original songs. And so um, I'm moving out to LA in a couple months after graduation to try and get this thing off the road. So this one is called Run Me Down. Um, it's, it g talks about a thing that I think a lot of people have felt at some point towards someone. Um, it's about y you, it's when you we know somebody in your life and you, you know that you have to know this person and you have to have them in your life, but it's so frustrating. And you, I don't know, I mean, you don't really want to be around them maybe 90% of the time even, but you want them there. <laughs> so that's what it's about. I know you. I know you well, so you're only fooling yourself. Speak a little louder, words get lost inside you. I want you to say them. You might not, but I do. Oh, oh, oh you. You've held your head high for so long now. I don't know why. Old ways got me learning. Tired words are spoken. Your words are burning. They, they got you choking, but I got to know you even though you run me down. You got me stressing, second guessing all over town. Out of nowhere I see. Yeah. Gotta know when to Tell you I'm sorry, but I, I cannot stand your supply and demand. And I, I don't want their questions when I, I don't have the answers. Don't teach me a lesson. I, I'm learning it backwards, cause I got to know you even though you run me down. You got me stressing, second guessing all over town. Out of nowhere I see, yeah. Gotta know when to leave. Oh, 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 you told a lie oh, when you said goodbye. Oh, well, believe me, I've tried to walk on by, but I got to know you even though you run me down. You got me stressing, second guessing all over town. Out of nowhere I see. Yeah. Gotta know when to leave. I, I,
want you, I don't want you, oh, but I got to know you, even though you run me down, you got me stressing, second guessing all over town, oh, 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 oh baby, baby. I don't know when to leave. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, in between, I'm going to end with the song as well, so I just have a few minutes, but I wanted to share with you my um, my story of where this is my passion, and Julie was talking earlier about um, like where is my aha moment with that, and I, I mean I don't I didn't have one either. It's just kind of something that I always it was always there in me, and I think a lot of people do spend too much time wondering, you know, like what they they stress out about it a lot, especially seniors in college who are like, what the hell, <laughs> what the heck. Um, but it's just, it, it's something, I think a lot of people need to take a step back and just be like, what comes easy to me and what is something that I am always happy doing that just, it doesn't matter if people see it as a hobby or a pastime or something that you should only do for fun. Um, because I plan on doing this only for fun for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, and so really my, when I was like two years old, probably old, when I could talk, <laughs> my mom would once, uh, once a year, she would ask my brother and I what we wanted to be when we grew up, and she would record it just for fun so that when we grew up, we could see our progression. And um, she prefaced it. I remember this distinctly, even though I was very young. She was like five times in a row. She was like, it can be anything you want. Anything you guys want, just dream big. And um, I really took her literally, and I said I would like to be an elephant. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was shocked that she said anything, and I was like, okay, well... But um, after that, I mean, growing up for the next couple of years, it was like ballerina, um, then I saw Michelle Kwan, and I was like figure skater. And then after that, it just went uh, musician or pop star or singer, some variation um, all the way throughout. And it, I didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do with music because I was so young. So I would go for every talent show and musical and embarrassing children's choir out there. Um, but as I grew up, I, it's always, I've always, I need to do it. It's something... I think when you find your passion, you know, because you can't not do it um, for a majority of your time. <laughs> so I, you know, I came here to study music, obviously. Another thing I think is a huge important factor if someone has a passion is to not, I don't, it's scary, but I don't think you should have a plan B because then you're giving yourself an out and you're giving yourself an excuse. Um, everyone likes feeling secure and everyone likes having you know, a safety net, and it's, it's intelligent, it's logical. Um, I don't have one. <laughs> so I think that, but it's what pushes me. And if I, knowing that I don't have one and knowing that there's nothing else I would want to do, I, I can't see myself doing something half-heartedly. And uh, so I know I need to do this, which is why I'm moving out to L.A. in July or August at some point um, to start my career. And I know how saturated the scene is and the world with music, but... Um, and there are great people that don't make it, and there are terrible people who make it. And so I think that a lot of it is luck, but um, I'm, I'm going to go for it. And so, yeah, that's basically my little speech for the day. I have one, uh, another song I'm going to play for you. It's called Trying to Get Out. Uh, it's also from my album. And it's, um, this one is about, I had a friend who is one of those people, I think we all know people like this, or we're like this, um, overanalyzes everything in their life to the point where they like hinder themselves from making a decision. Um, you just raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Of, I mean, everyone does that to a degree. Um, this person is to the extreme, but it's just kind of, it's, it's frustrating at times to be um, close with the person who is just cannot function out of fear. You know, I mean, they have great ideas, they have great potential, but if you don't just jump in and go for it, then you you won't make it. So, so this is called trying to get out.
You know I gotta hold somebody to the ground before you try to throw me down. I hope you come around and see the truth in your lies and know it's not in I for and I or we would all be stumbling blind. I hope they treat you kind. I hope you stop thinking about trying to get out, trying to get out. Stop thinking about trying to get out, trying to get out. I, I've got, I, I've got to shout it. Ain't nothing new what you gonna do about it. I don't mind someone who will take their time. I only ask you, don't take mine. I don't want to stand in line. So if you know how you really want it, why won't you move? on it here and gone and it won't take a long for you to stop thinking about trying to get out trying to get out stop thinking about trying to get out trying to get out I, I've got I, I've got to shout it Ain't nothing new what you gonna do about it. Well, and I told myself you're bad for my health. I, I'm not having fun. It cannot be done. I told myself you're bad for my health. I, I'm not having fun. It cannot be done. Baby, don't break your back, lifting what you think you lack, faking what you wish you had. Nothing's ever quite that bad. So you can bet that tomorrow you'll forget your sorrow. And I'll forget I ever saw you cry. And you can stop thinking about trying to get out, trying to get out. Stop thinking about trying to get out, trying to get out. I've got, I've got to shout it. Ain't nothing new what you gonna do about it. Thank you so much. Let's hear it from Molly. That was wonderful. Molly, uh, don't go anywhere because we're going to have some Q&A for you. Um, I wonder if anyone else was as surprised as I was to hear that much soul coming out of this unsuspecting young lady here. I didn't see it coming, but that was an amazing performance. Um, do, if we, have, we have time for questions and answers with Molly. Um, does anyone have a question right now? Can we get a mic over here, Dylan? Thanks. Oh, no, Dylan's got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's all over it. That was great. Thank you. I just wanted to know who your influences are. I am very, very inspired by um, like 60s soul music, Otis Redding, Ray Charles, <laughs> yeah. um, Sam Cooke, really old school stuff. Um, but there's also modern artists that kind of, uh, they have like a tinge of that in their music and that would be like Adele and Joss Stone, if you guys know who they are. I'm really influenced by them. I feel like their music, um, it really, really says something, uh, it's, it's music for the ears and not necessarily just for the eyes, like a lot of music today. Um, so that, I'm very influenced by that. Otis Redding, I, I have playlists of him that I just listen to all the time. <laughs> I wish I were him. 
I thought a lot about Carole King when you were singing. <laughs> well, we're glad you didn't grow up to be an elephant uh, and, <laughs> and that you instead turned into uh, an inspiring young lady. Um, I have a question, uh, and it's based on what you talked about with you know just this lack of hold, things that hold you back. You seem fairly fearless, and you know, you're taking this huge leap out to California, uh, and I just want to know um, what sorts of fears did you do you feel like you overcame to get to the point where you are, where this, uh, you know, being prepared to take this huge leap that you're, you're gonna take? Um, I feel like a big part of me becoming a confident musician was when I've been writing songs for about seven or eight years, but only in the last two, maybe three, have I written songs that I, li that I like. <laughs> so songs that I really feel um, communicate who I am as a person and as a musician, um, not only the lyrics, but you know the style of my music. And so finding that has was a huge uh, affirmation for me that this is who I am and I, I can do a lot with it. And uh, I mean, previously, you know, in high school and stuff, I, I knew I could sing and I loved it and I planned on going to college for it, but it was, I, I was very nervous. You know, I'd always, everyone compares themselves to everyone else, you know, but especially in the music world, it's a huge, it's a huge thing to get over and I will never stop doing that, hopefully. I mean, I think it's really conceited if you don't, but I used to do it a lot and too much because I would see in people what I felt was inside me, but I couldn't get it out. And so uh, I finally have been able to do that. It gives me confidence for the future. Awesome, well thanks. We're, we're all uh, pretty sure you're gonna do well. Are there any more questions for Molly? Yeah. How does one find your EPs online? <laughs> Um, there, it's on iTunes if you just search my name, Molly Cottrell. Um, there's also, I have a website. Uh, I actually have cards if you guys want to come find me afterwards. I have the information, but check out iTunes, please. Thank you. <laughs> and your website is mollycottrell.com, is that correct? Dot webstarts.com. Dot webstarts.com.